In this one, I'm going to prove that the intersection of A minus B and B minus A is the empty set, meaning that they have nothing in common. Uh, now, one might think, okay, we want to show their subsets of each other or something like that, but that's not going to work because the empty set doesn't have anything in it. So it's hard to put something in there, right, for an element chasing proofs, because you can't put anything in there. There's nothing in there. It's the empty set. So the way we're going to do this is by contradiction. So we're going to suppose that a minus, a minus B intersected with B minus A is not empty. It's not empty. So what does that mean if this is not empty? That means there's something in it. So there is X in a minus B intersected with B minus A. So then you want to ask yourself, okay, well, what does that mean? So let's unravel that. So let's unravel first the intersection, because that's the, uh, the, thing in, the thing in the middle there. Okay, so X is in A minus B and x is in b minus a. So now let's unravel uh, what it means for x to be in a minus b and what it means for x to be in b minus a. So x in a minus b means x is in a and X is not in B. Also, X in B minus A means X is in B and X is not in A. And here's where we find our contradiction, right? Remember when uh, we write something in a proof, we, we have implied behind the scenes saying this is true. So we're saying that it's true that X is in A and X is not in A. That just simply can't be. It can't be that X is both in A and not in A. This is a contradiction. Also, th there's really two contradictions going on here, right? We also have that X is in B and X is not in B. But all we really need is just one contradiction. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to use the one about A. So X is in A and X is not in A, which cannot happen. So this contradiction shows that does in fact equal the empty set. And that's our proof. So notice that this is a classic proof by contradiction. We want to show that two, th uh, two sets, when they, when they have nothing in common, when you intersect them, they have nothing in common. So we say, okay, well, what happens if, we, if they do have something in common? If they do have something in common, we get a contradiction. That contradiction is that X is in A and not in A. Right. Now, really quickly, let me just show you why that's a contradiction. We have our universal set U, and here's our set A. If X is in A, then X can't be not in A, 
right? It can't be out here and vice versa. If X is out here, not in A, then it can't be in A. So that just doesn't make sense.